Hi, this is Dale Martins. I'm here to show you a tutorial for using polyline profiles in Profile Builder 2. Now this is a new feature in Profile Builder and what you want to do is you want to start with a top-down view. Here I'm just going to draw a very basic shape and then modify it with the uh, new features of setting the width and the height of a profile. So I just have a basic gutter shape and now I'm going to use the Smart Path Select tool. I'm going to double click to select the whole continuous polyline. And you're going to notice that the start of the polyline turns green and the end of the line shows red. And what's important to keep in mind is when you're, um, this will actually show you the orientation of the faces when you extrude it. So, for example, when you're looking in the direction of the polyline, anything to your right will be front side of the face when you actually extrude it using the build tool here. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to create the profile using the new profile button. Give it a name. And now we're going to set the width and the height of the profile both to 4 inches. And a new feature as well, I'm going to give it a material. So I've already created a material called gutter, which is in my model. So when I extrude it, when I extrude this profile, it's uh, it's already going to have the material applied. So one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the placement point to the top left, set an offset here in the y direction, up down of uh, minus one inch, and a horizontal offset of an eighth of an inch. I'm going to click the build tool and then I'm just going to start clicking points around the perimeter of this roof. Another thing you can do with Profile Builder 2 is you can use the arrow keys to lock the axis. This makes it a bit easier. So as I close this off here I want to zoom in and just make sure I click on the original point and then it'll, it'll close. And that's our completed gutter. Thanks for watching.